Ramaphosa's brother-in-law, Minister in the President Jeffrey Debe, found himself apologizing after being exposed for begging a 29-year-old staffer to send him pictures of her private parts. Clitz requested, he told the staffer. This revelation was published by the Sunday Times, which detailed the story of how Sianga Sanga Bambani, a presidential photographer, received the SMSs from the 64-year-old struggle veteran. The exchanges reportedly began in 2014. The paper published samples of the text, which included Radebe, apparently begging her to do more than just send him a picture of herself fully clothed. She later allegedly obliged with a pic of herself in a bubble bath and finally exposing her naked breasts. Let me see there, a later text from him requested, with a clarification telling Bambani, that she was interested in your photographing herself further down. She claims she refused to do so. The Sunday Times, however, concluded that Mbambani had been encouraging of the messages from Radebe. She changed her story that she had never sent him explicit pictures of herself when the paper showed her the evidence, saying she may have been intoxicated when she sent the topless photo. According to another report by Sunday World, this isn't Bambani's first time exchanging messages with senior ANC members. She appears to have exchanged the suggestive SMS with former ANC treasurer Matthews Posa and with Eastern Cape Premier Pumulo Masuele who allegedly sent her a plane ticket to fly to East London at one time. Her exchange with Posa started in March last, last year after allegedly sending him a message telling him she had dreamt of him and former President Tabo Mbeki. Posa reportedly replied telling her they loved that she was dreaming about him, further suggesting that they met. Though he confirmed exchanging SMEs with Mbambani, Posa denied that he was flirting or had an affair with her. Posa said, I never touched her hand or any part of her body. I never even asked to see pictures of her private parts.